what's going on everybody chromon rust here so torment six rifts pretty much just like greater if level 25 you probably heard that that's the general consensus right now that torment six rifts pretty much like greater if level 25 now they're talking about mob health and damage but i wanted to set out to find you know how many more legendaries am i going to be finding how much more experience or blood shards and various things so that's what we're going to be taking a look at that is this uh nice little cute chart i guess visually appealing now what we have is experience blood shards legendaries and time just as i said because time is very relevant it doesn't matter exactly how many runs you do but how much time you're spending doing these various things so 20 greater rifts 20 torment six rifts and you can see that greater rifts are purple in the progression bar in diablo 3 and well rifts are yellow in the progression bar so that's what we got we got the purple and yellow theme going on here so going through and looking at every one of the runs is really not what you want to be doing but the information is there because i will be leaving a link to this in the in the description just in case if you want to check it out for yourself this isn't like groundbreaking info or anything like that but if you've been putting together information like this for yourself you want to compare to the results that i found well, it's going to be open and available so not really looking at runs 1 through 20 but going down to the total the averages the high the low and the per hour is really where all the interesting things are going to be found so how much experience could i find well 3.72 billion experience over the course of those 20 runs versus 7.22 billion experience over the course of those 20 runs you know that's good to know but it's not relating to time and how much time I spent in the rifts. So the averages, check them out there. The high and the low, but the per hour, now getting into more of the juicy stuff here, we can see that we are finding 2.01 billion experience per hour in greater rifts and 4.38 billion experience in rifts per hour. So there's a big difference, more than double. Now this is only t over the course of 20 runs and you know, 20 runs is not good what you're gonna be experiencing throughout your Diablo 3 career. So this is, you know, this is just a segment in time that I pulled 20 various runs, put them together, and you know, this is the information that we're looking at, but you may be finding more experience per hour is what I'm trying to say, or you may be finding less experience per hour, depending on the gear, the class that you're using, and just the luck of the draw. Really, rifts are the luck of the draw, and you know, th this isn't like hard evidence that this is exactly what's going on, but over the course of 20 runs, it is going to be eliminating quite a bit of the variance, more than double the experience for doing rifts over greater rifts. Now going over to the next one here, we have the blood shards. Now 115 blood shards is what you're always going to be finding from greater rift level 25. So 2,300 blood shards versus 2,046 blood shards. Once again, going down to the per hour here, so it's a little bit more interesting. 1,244 per hour versus 1,240 per hour. So just a few more blood shards, but we're getting a lot less experience from Greater Rifts. Next one here, legendaries, the meat of, you know, everything. Everybody wants to know, how do you find legendaries fast here? Well, Greater Rifts going to be giving you more legendaries. I was able to find 40 over the course of those 20 runs, or 22 or over the course of the Torment 6 runs, which is 21.63 legendaries per hour versus 13.34 legendaries per hour. So I was able to run in an hour. If I were to put all these together, I could run 10.8 Greater Rifts per hour and 12.1 Torment 6 rifts per hour. Now this is not including like the trials or anything like that. So you're going to be running even less if you want to include the trials in this. You know, so you're probably only running like 9 or 10 per hour versus the 12 that you're able to get from greater rifts. And the other thing to note is that greater rifts do not have experience pools in them. There's no experience pools in greater rifts. I did do all of this testing with an experience pool on because I was running in hardcore. I didn't see the need to just play for an hour just to make sure my experience pool dropped and then skip everyone you know while i was doing this testing so i did do this with the bonus 25 percent to your experience from the experience pools but greater rifts don't spawn experience pools so i actually had to stack up a bunch of them just to make sure that i would not run out for my greater rift testing so for experience greater rifts are horrible really need to be buffed unless that's what the diablo devs are trying to do you know you get more legendaries from greater rifts but you're sacrificing experience 
I hope that's not what they're trying to do because it takes a long time to get to the greater rifts because you got to start out with the bounties, then you got to run the rifts, and then you got to hope to get a trial. And then if you do get the trial, then you have to go through the Nephilim trials or whatever they're called. I can't think of the name right now, but you know, you get your keystone and then you actually run the greater rift after you do that. So it's a lot of work. I don't want to say work, you know, it's a video game, but it's a lot of steps that you have to go through. We'll just say that to get to the greater rifts, them giving less than half of the experience. It's not very good in my opinion, but what you want to be getting out of your farming runs is really up to you. Now, you know, you have to do torment six to get to the greater rifts, but that's just the way that it is. Do you want to be using your greater rift keystones for legendaries? I guess so. For experience, you definitely want to be doing Torment 6 Rifts. But as I said, you got to do Torment 6 Rifts anyways to get to the greater Rifts. So this is just kind of some data that I was putting together. Just kind of curious to see for myself. Wanted to, you know, see how many runs I was going to be able to do per hour and various things. And just decided to collect a bunch of other information. So that's what we're looking at here. As I said, link will be in the description. Hope you did enjoy. I'm Chromon Rust for Quarks for Gaming. Like, subscribe if you have not. I'm out of here, and you all have a great day. Fresh meat.